Hi everyone, welcome to this uh, first episode of, um, of the live coding of a plugin uh, for Gephi. Um, so we're gonna wait a few minutes uh, because it's not 3 p.m. yet. We'll be connected to the, to the page on Twitch so that I can see if there is anyone actually connected and if there are some comments. Right. Very nice to see you. Just trying to switch to the to the streaming dashboard. How do we go? Okay. It's here. So I hope things go really smoothly today. Uh, last time um, the stream uh, was completely cut and the video was. Uh, oh no, the sounds is the sound is. I hope it's just. Test, test, test. Is it similar? Is it similar like that? Is it better like that? I hope so. Wow. Test, test. I can see. It's supposed to be the sound is supposed to be too. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Yes, let's try that. Is it better? Is it better now? I think I have added the sound of the light as a source. So test, test, test. Can you hear the background music? Test, test.
test, test, test. And here is it. I switched to the to the mic of my uh, of my headphones. Okay, so let's do that. Even if uh, okay. That's better. Thanks a ton, uh, Mathieu. Okay, so, uh, well, I can't hear the music anymore, but it's maybe just me. Yeah, I think it's just me. You can hear it, I think. Um, okay, so let's get started now that we have um, uh, image and sound. Um, Welcome to this, uh, well, I have a weird, uh, welcome to this uh, 12th uh, episode of Live Coding, a plugin for Gephi. Um, we have many things to cover uh, today um, because I, uh, okay, I see your message, uh, much about the music, so I'm super happy. We have many things to, to cover, uh, basically the, uh, uh, the stream from last week didn't work, so you didn't see uh, the changes I made. So let's start with that. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna uh, open the files of the plugin and I'm just gonna uh, give an overview of what changed because uh, uh, I would prefer that we move forward uh, today uh, with the new things instead of uh, looking in the review mirror. Uh, so again, just giving you a broad overview. What we stopped trying, I, I stopped trying to, uh, you know, capture the movements of the mouse uh, in Gephi so that I would, uh, at each time the mouse would move, I would retrieve the nodes being selected uh, by the mouse. Uh, it didn't work. Uh, for many, uh, for many weeks, actually. So instead, what do we do? Uh, when the plugin is initialized, initialized, you know, uh, an executor, which is a, a device that launches tasks in the background, you know, so a task, if you launch it, if you do something which is super computationally heavy, if you just launch it in your code, the plugin and Giphy will stop until the task that you have launched is finished. Uh, it can't work this way because if, if Giphy is blocked while it waits that, you know, the text mining uh, is finished, the whole interface, the whole screen of Giphy is frozen. Uh, so the user uh, is blocked. An executor is something that you use to launch a task, but the task will be executed in the background uh, so that the user is not blocked. Uh, they can continue uh, clicking in Gephi using their computers. Uh, the task is actively running, but uh, not blocking. So that's why you see here uh, an executor. It's called a long task executor. And this is something that has been developed by Mathieu Bastian, the, a core developer of uh, Gephi, uh, and it's based on uh, Java native code, but Mathieu has provided a, a great uh, scaffolding around it so that it works even more reliably than uh, without. Uh, so the uh, task exec the executor is defined not here, right? You would think it's defined here, but no, actually, where is it defined? Yeah, it's just, I mean, what it's going to do is is visible uh, here. So when the user clicks on, on the run button, the executor will execute what? This thing. And what is this thing? Let's go back to, this is called initial word processing runnable. It's simply something I have defined here which for, for just one time, uh, oh, Mathieu, I think we have a, we have a, a spammer. Uh, I think you are, you have admin rights if you, if you want to remove this person. Uh, I can't, I don't know how to do it, but anyway. Uh, so this 
thing here that is going to be executed by the executor. It just, uh, where is that? Yeah, it does, it does these two lines, actually, just that. It extracts the uh, lines of uh, the textual attributes that you selected, and it computes the, uh, the frequency of terms for these lines. So let's go back. Uh, the executor executes that. And when it's finished, and let's go back above, when it's finished, it executes that. So it's a bit of a, you know, it's not super linear. Uh, you have to follow. But uh, this long task listener, it, you know, it takes as, as a parameter, as an argument, something that you want to be executed once the initial task has been executed. So I know it's not super great, but uh, it works. <laughs> uh, so once the initial run on, on, the, on the lines of the attributes have been made, then it executes something else, which is that. And this thing is something that continuously uh, retrieves the 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 nodes being selected by the user and it displays a word cloud of the top terms associated with these nodes if you so where is the logic of that where is the code top words retriever as runnable there is a uh, a class for that i just uh, opened it here this, this one and you know it's so it runs continuously, that's what I was saying, while, well, actually, I could just <laughs> remove the true, I suppose, yeah. Um, as long as the, the user has not cancelled the task, well, retrieve the nodes that are currently selected. Uh, if there is no node, then, uh, you know, do nothing much, but if you have some nodes that are being currently selected uh, uh, take the top terms from these nodes. Um, so I could provide more details, but uh, uh, that's basically uh, that works. And, and I've posted a, a demo last week uh, with a GIF of uh, where we see it in action. So what do we want to do today? And actually I have already started uh, this week. Uh, we want to finish up the plugin with having something which is clean, ergonomic, uh, uh, easy to read, you know, that the buttons would actually, uh, that the information messages would be uh, popping up at the right time and uh, conveying the right messages. So that's pretty much what I have done. Uh, and let me show you basically. Uh, why is Giphy not responding? Okay, that's just a glitch. I'm going to launch Giphy and I'm really afraid that it's going to kill my resources. I mean, I have 32 gigas of RAM. Why, why does it, uh, it should not, uh, uh, you know, raise any issue. Anyway, I'm building the plugin. Taking forever. Uh, I
the plugin is being built. Okay, uh, then I'm gonna launch it. Uh, I'm just gonna launch Giphy basically. I'm not gonna package it because I had done it before, right before we started. So just running Giphy with the plugin. Okay, Gephi has opened. I'm gonna... Well, you, well, great. I'm gonna show it to you. And I hope, I hope you can see uh, Gephi now. So I'm opening the, the, the network we were working on uh, for many uh, times, uh, the one about the New York Times. So this is the, the network of all the Twitter's, Twitter accounts that the New York Times is following. And as you see, it's a big ball of hair. The, uh, uh, we have almost 300 accounts and each of them tend to follow each other at uh, the others. So the so that's a big uh, ball. Uh, oh, you don't see everything here. Sorry. Um, the interesting thing. So look at that. I have moved the plugin to the statistics and filters uh, panel. Uh, before that, they were, it was on the on the left. Uh, the reason I did that is because I wanted to have more space, uh, vertical space. As you see, it's something that can be pretty uh, tall. Uh, it, so it works so much better. How did I do that? Uh, let me show you because it, take, it took like one line, not even a line actually. You see here, it's called top component registration. And then in the parentheses, you defined a mode. The default mode was layout mode. When you have layout mode instead of filters mode, it's going to position and locate your plugin next to the layout plugin window. If you change it to filters mode, it's going to position it right there uh can you see it here yeah right here right here next to filters and statistics so it's really super simple to move it um so um the second thing i did was to uh clean and uh and and make so much more robust the uh, the layout of the different sub components of the of the module so you see we have of the of the plugin we have two tabs here right that i'm clicking on now the parameters tab which is here and the word cloud tab and below and maybe it's not super visible i should make it bigger we have a run we have the run uh, button for the plugin so the word cloud tab is empty this is where we're going to see the word cloud when it work, when the when you run the plugin and for the parameters tab, we have here, pick the node attribute to analyze. So 
let's uh, refresh. And when we refresh, we see a message, select a node attribute in the list. So it works. I select description and we have an update. The word cloud will analyze this node attribute description. And each, each time we change the thing updates description. Then how many top words to display? Five is the default. And I've made sure that you can't go below one and the maximum would be 10. Uh, but that's uh, basically, uh, okay, that's uh, expected. The thing where I'm the most happy with is that, you know, even if you, you resize the, the panels, you don't have ugly, uh, ugly effects where the plugin would get cropped. Uh, I mean, everything moves uh, in a way that remains uh, readable. So, uh, so it works uh, fine. Okay, then you run. So I click on run. And you see analyzing the text, please wait. And the text was analyzed in one second. So the message just moved to, well, let me, the message moved to switch to the word cloud, word cloud tab and mouse over the network. So I'm moving to the word cloud tab, which is right above, right there. And we see no node selected. Oh, and by the way, we also see, maybe you would like to see here, the progress. I mean, you also have information here in the progress bar uh, of Giphy. Uh, so let's, no node selected. So of course there is no uh, word cloud. Let's now uh, increase the area for selection. So I suppose this thing is not going to be super clear to users. I'm going to need to to write a tutorial on that or something. But basically, I'm going to move over and you're going to see right there, we're going to see uh, the word cloud appearing. So you see it. And there is an issue. Uh, we don't see it. So you see when, you, when I move the mouse outside of the network, uh, it says no not selected, which is true, but sometimes, well, it just happened. You know, I just moved it out, and for some reason, it 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 still finds that uh, one node is selected. Um, so there is some glitch here. You know, it continues. Sometimes it just stops when I zoom in and out. Yeah, now it's fine but it's completely random and uh, uh, it's a glitch. But I suppose it's not super, uh, uh, well, uh, it's okay, I would say. And then when you are finished, you'd click on cancel. And when you click on cancel, you see that when you move over, uh, the word cloud has stopped uh, computing and refreshing. So to me, it looks like, you know, that's that's good. That's what we wanted. Uh, we also have some error messages. If you try to run the plugin, but you have no network, it's gonna, it's not gonna create an error. It's just gonna display an error message. But uh, Giphy uh, will not crash, so everything looks fine. What we should do uh, for today is. Uh, uh, fix the translations. As you see, my by default, uh, so I'm French living in France, and so the the, the default language for, for Giphy is French. But I have developed this uh, plugin uh, using uh, English as a primary language. So as you see, the information messages are in English and the buttons are in English. And I would like it to be displayed in French when the interface of Giphy is in French and in Spanish when the user is using a Spanish interface and so on and so forth. The good news is that Java is super well equipped to do that easily. Giphy, which is built on top of Java, uh, which is using Java is also uh, leveraging the uh, translation or internationalization mechanisms of Java. 
And the other good news is that for a different project, I've got uh, used to um, uh, basically creating international versions of an app. Uh, so I have some code available in GitHub, by the way, if you are curious. It's a bit of a script, it's not super clean, uh, but it works perfectly. Let me show you that here. Uh, yeah, you see better. So it's a little project that I call translation um, internationalization. And I was super lazy. So for each project, I, I created a different uh, main class, you know, uh, a different class that can be executed for each different version, even if these classes are really all the same. Um, just me being lazy. Uh, so I've created a class controller, Gephi, plugin, Word Cloud, which is the project we are currently working on. So it's just a copy of the previous classes. The only difference, yeah, there is just one difference actually. <laughs> so lazy. Um, is that it loads, basically it, of course it's gonna create files of the translated buttons in the project for this plugin uh, specifically. So this is why you have this property where you know it loads the path to this plugin. Uh, so what is it going to do? Let me show you. Oh. So I'm back on the Lex our plugin. Let me show you. We have you know the files we have created. But we have other files in the project, which are in other sources. There and there. And it's called bundle properties. B bundle, it's a file called bundle.properties. When we open it, this is what's inside. And if you look back at one of the first episodes of this uh, plugin development, I struggled a lot to to have a clear understanding of what should be in this file and what should be actually in this other file. The, there is another file called the manifest here, which also has properties. You see? So what should belong in this manifest file and what should belong to this bundle.properties file? I got that sorted out with a lot of pain in one of the first episodes of this series. But basically anything that you would like to see translated in many languages should not be in the manifest, it should be in the bundle properties. So this is what we have at the moment, bundle.properties. It's, it's the default uh, place to find translations. So how does it work? We have, let's take the first one. If in our code, that thing is mentioned, so expression menu item title. If this is mentioned, then when the plugin is gonna be used for real life by a user, this thing will be replaced by that. Okay, now if the user is French and has a computer where all the language parameters are in French, if we just have this bundle.properties file with what's inside, so what you see here, well, the plugin can just replace that by that, which is in English. There is no French version. So how can the plugin, when it, when it works, when it is being used by the user, how can it replace that by something that is not Lexical Explorer plugin, but the equivalent in French? The solution is to simply let me do that by hand. You copy bundle.properties 
basically you duplicate it, you copy it and you paste it. So it's called bundle uh, underscore one properties and you rename it. You rename it to bundle underscore FR for French properties. So as you, you, you didn't see, but basically in this case, uh, NetBeans provide a very useful uh, uh, interface where you see, but it's not, uh, it's a bit confusing at the moment. So let me, yeah, let me just show it. So this is bundle dash or underscore FR properties. And inside you can change all the values that you had for the equivalent in French. So in this case, uh, plugin <laughs> d'exploration lexical. And you would replace all the values that are currently in English uh, by values in, uh, in French. And just by doing that, you do nothing else. Just by doing that, the plugin, when it's being used by uh, somebody who has French as a default setting, is going to appear in French. So that's great, right? Uh, the only issue is that we have 19 languages that are covered by Giphy. Uh, so it's a lot to translate, uh, 19 files, and we don't speak all these languages, right? So that's why I'm going to use a, a script to autom automate the creation of these 19 files. And this script calls the APIs of Google Translate and Deeple to uh, automatically translate uh, uh, these things. Um, uh, of course, it's not uh, bulletproof. Uh, you're going to have some translations that are going to be uh, ugly and uh, incorrect. Uh, but you know, um, I would be in favor. I mean, sometimes I'm so yeah, we could just we could just do it, but I would be in favor to as I, French is my native language. I, I I mean, there is one tactic you can use to to uh, diminish the errors by uh, by Google Translate and Deeple. My, my, uh, it's just an empirical uh, tactic. What I do to avoid mistranslations is that I use French as the default language that will be translated in, in all the other languages. Why? It's because as I know French quite well, uh, I, I know that uh, I know the types of expression that are ambiguous or not. Let's give you a very clear example. Word cloud. I suspect that this thing is very word. A word cloud is very, uh, it's a really English. It's this is really an English expression. In French, we could translate it as a uh, nuage de mots. It's fine, right? But I suppose that in many languages, nuage de mots or the equivalent of word cloud in many languages will sound odd, odd, right? So I would be in favor of examining such expressions such as word cloud and actually choosing something different that is less um, imaginative. You know, word cloud is a kind of uh, 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 metaphorical uh, expression for for the result. Uh, so if we choose something like uh, not word cloud, but uh, uh, top terms, also the equivalent of top terms in French, um, uh, mocly. Mots clés les plus importants ou uh, mots clés les plus fréquents ou mots clés fréquents ou mots clés because mots clés which is keyword in English 
it's gonna it's super clear it's gonna be translated uh you know on a on a very uh deterministic in a very deterministic way so mokley uh mokley uh Uh, so les premiers, les top, les mots clés uh, les plus fréquents. Bon, it's a bit long. Mots clés les plus fréquents. Uh, in English, most frequent keywords. That's fine. Uh, parameters will be parameters. Uh, refresh, uh, refreshir. How many top words to display? Combien de mots clés affichés ou affichés combien? Oui, ok. So then we have HTML, as you see, uh, this thing should be, so why HTML is because uh, you have to enclose uh, uh, the text of a label in this HTML tags if you want the line to wrap if there is not enough space. The issue is that I don't like to have HTML tags in my, uh, in my bundle properties files if I can avoid it. So I'm going to remove it and I'm going to place it in the Java code instead. Uh, les plus fréquents fréquents apparaîtront ici. So run. So run is a good example of something which is quite ambiguous in English because it might mean courir in French, you know, like physically running, not just functioning. So uh, in, I'm going to write lancer le programme or lancer le lancer l'opération, which again is much less ambiguous and will be uh, very clear to the translations. And the tooltip, so the plugin vous aide à explorer et mot clé associé au alors node same, not super easy to translate, oh, oh, aux entités. Les. So I don't say mouse, I say the pointer of the mouse, again, just so that there is absolute clarity for the translation. The title lexical, so it's going to be plugin d'exploration lexical, fine. Lancer l'opération, les mots clés, rafraîchir, combien de mots clés affichés. Pick the node attribute to analyze, so sélectionnez l'attribut des nodes. Sélectionnez l'attribut. Uh, à analyser. We're not going to mention the node. Mots clés les plus fréquents. Ok, 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 ok. And not open a network use this plugin, but ouvrez un réseau pour utiliser ce plugin. 
So I'm not saying French should be taken as a source language for the translations, but I would really suggest that you pick the your native language as a source because it helps you control the ambiguity of words and choose instead some uh, expressions in your native language which are less ambiguous. Uh, oh, what about the two? Oh, sorry, we have the two descriptions too. Allez, c'est parti. It's a plugin. Affiche. Un résumé des informations. Non, laisse du clear. Ce plugin affiche les mots clés les plus fréquents parmi un attribut textuel du réseau. Parmi un attribut textuel. Enough. Uh, maybe c'est utile pour explorer et comprendre. Same description for actually what I'm gonna do is up okay. de mots I hope it's going to be translated I give it a, a chance here okay fine thank you for following because it was in French not super uh, international um, once we have that we can use the script I mentioned before so let's switch to it no uh, not web exporter web cloud yeah so what is left to do for me is to change the source language. I told you that I would prefer to use French in this case. And I'm bundle.properties is not the source uh, file. It's bundle uh, underscore fr. And the translation service we're going to use is Deepl indeed. I use Deepl because Deepl is just going to be used for uh, uh, Brazilian Portuguese, right? Uh, tuk, 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 tuk. Yeah, that's what you see here. So it's a way for me to test that, um, well, things work. Uh, so let's, let's, let's launch it. Uh, so to launch this thing, I just right click on the file and I click on run, so nothing fancy to take a second or two. So it's calling the API of Deeple and it sends all the lines of my text in French and it's retrieving uh, the equivalent in Brazilian Portuguese. Uh, and when you look at here, yes, it has created a new file that I'm opening now and I'm showing that to you. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, good. It has a bit uh, mi uh, mixed the things like, you know, these three things I would have preferred to have them uh, to have them uh, on the top, but that's okay. Okay, so it works. Before I launch it for all the languages, 
uh, I would, would like to make sure I, I actually have all the textual attributes in the file. So let me go back to the French file bundle dash uh, fr. You know, these things are the things that are displayed in the plugin, but is this list complete? I would like to be sure because I don't want to run, you know, this translation stuff uh, so many times. So I'm just going to go through all my classes and check that I have, they don't mention uh, pieces of text, so string technically. So this one does not. This one does not either. Oh, this one does. So you see, I can even um, translate the progress ticket, you know, the progress bar in Giphy. At the moment, it's in English. It's like initial word analysis in progress. Great, but I would like to have that in the language of the user. So I'm going to switch back to, how do I do that? I just go to here, top component, just because I want to copy that here. I copy that, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, 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 I think it's exactly that. So I copy that and I paste it in the class where I was, so this one, oops. So I'm going to paste it uh, there uh, on top. Hop. Fine. And now I can use the bundle to uh, to retrieve. So how do I do that again? I'm have I have memory of a goldfish, so I'm going to go back to where I was using it. Yeah, it's just that. Get string. Not super complicated. So back to where I need that. So I'm going to do it very uh, well now. Okay, let's do that. I just insert it there. So I just have to name that. Uh, I'm going to call it progress. So uh, as you know from past episodes, I, I love long variable names. It's just that. So it's in, it's called initial word analysis in progress. So, okay. And what I, do I do with that? I just added to my file with the French stuff. So, you know, I, let me show you. I just go back to here, French, and I add this new property there. Uh, and I'm, so it, what was it? Uh, analyze initial. Uh, l'analyse initiale, <laughs> super French, l'analyse initiale uh, du contenu textuel, oh, c'est super long, super long, du texte, est en cours. L'analyse initiale du texte est en cours. Nice. Okay, and then we rinse and repeat. We do that for every uh, for everything we need. Uh, <laughs> <'est trop> ça. <laughs> yeah, you need a you need a bow tie when you speak like that. Uh, <laughs> um, and then you have uh, initial analysis is complete. So progress initial analysis complete. And again, I copy that and I'm adding it to my French file. So l'analyse. 
So uh, there is a reason why I say l'analyse instead of just analyse. It's because I'm afraid that when it's going to be translated, if I just say analyse, the translation is going to... There's not enough grammatical uh, clues for the, for the translation to be exact, whereas l'analyse is really the analysis. It can't be uh, ambiguous. L'analyse initiale du texte est achevé. Ça, c'est énorme. Uh, l'analyse... Oh, I forgot the equal sign. Est achevé. Okay. Uh, terminé. Because achevé could be badly translated as well. Uh, et terminé. OK. And then back to here. So that's good. Oh, and then the user can interrupt it. So we have l'analyse initiale is interrupted. I copy this thing and I paste it there. And that's this one is uh, if you have a huge network, uh, you might uh, want to interrupt it because that can take uh, a dozen seconds and the user should be able to just interrupt it and it works. Oops, analyse without the Y. Oops, but no, it's not that. Analyse like that, okay. Uh, the text is interrupted. Okay, fine. Uh, let's continue, but I think we're good here. Yeah. So as you see, we don't have any English hard-coded string here. It's all things that are going to be replaced by their uh, corresponding language in the files. Why? Why do I need column name? Oh yeah. Okay. Here. Why is it complaining? Oh, it could be final. Okay. Okay. Never mind. So let's move on to the next file. And this one is the one where I would expect the most things to be left. So all good, all good, all good. Yeah. So here we see, oh, we see something which is in English, by the way. So we should replace that. So you see that, um, oh, do we need the HTML stuff? Yes, we need it. HTML plus that. And instead of having this stuff in English that says open a network to use this plugin. Uh, so I, I'm gonna have to remind that. Uh, I'm gonna use the bundle stuff, this thing here. And I'm going to use expression top panel. Uh, actually, everything is top panel, so I'm going to just remove that expression warning. Oops. Uh, open network. So then I copy it. I paste it in the French stuff. Um, vous devez ouvrir, you must open, vous devez ouvrir un réseau pour utiliser ce plugin, to use this plugin. Okay, fine. Uh, let's continue. So this thing is just an internal. Oh, I think it does appear in the it does appear in the progress bar or Giphy, but it I think it's immediately replaced by. It's immediately uh, replaced by something else. So 
so it's uh, the user will not see it. Finished, ready to run. Okay, so should be something else as well. I remove that. French finish ready to run. Uh, analyse terminé. Analyse. En fait, actually, it's for the initial analysis. So, analyse initiale terminée. Prêt. Le plugin est. Ah non, c'est. Basically, the word cloud, now the word cloud can be, I mean, now the user can select nodes. Vous pouvez utiliser, let's be uh, long, vous pouvez utiliser la souris pour explorer les nœuds et leurs nuages de mots associés. Et leurs mots clés. Nuage de mots, I'm not exactly sure that would be translated de faire lui. Et leurs mots clés associés. Vous pouvez maintenant utiliser. The log area is pretty large, so this long message can be displayed without. Analyse initiale terminée, vous pouvez maintenant utiliser la souris pour explorer les nœuds et leurs mots clés associés. Super! Fine, fine, fine. Oh, we have another one. Switch to the. Well, it says basically the same. Never mind. Uh, so switch. Right, okay. So switch to World Cloud. Tab and select. You know, it's super long as a variable name, but at least when I'm going to reread my code, I'm, I'm going to understand what it's doing without having to go back here. Um, vous pouvez, actually, uh, vous pouvez aller sur l'onglet. Uh, I think you, uh, double quotes are authorized. Mot clé et explorer le graph. En fait, les nœuds et leurs mots clés associés. So maybe not les nœuds, le réseau et ses mots clés associés. Right. And I'm gonna just copy that here. Same message. Okay, works for me. And we continue. Oh, la la. oh la la, my God, so many things to. Well, I hope you uh, have a sip of coffee. Uh, Mathieu, I just see your comment. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go back. So, Mathieu has a comment about the. The coherence in the way the expression is being used, either you, you know, either, either you know, do you use like infinitive words or do you actually uh, call out the user with an imperative form? So in some languages, like in English, you don't see the difference, but in French you do. So, lancer ER, so it's an infinitive in line 10, rafraîchir, sélectionner, are you right? Indeed, ouvrir un réseau. Um, well, not exactly, because in this case, that's more an information message. 
So I would leave it at ouvrir because it's gonna. Oh, il faut ouvrir. Mais bon, ouvrez quoi. Vous devez ouvrir. <laughs> ouais, en gros, ça passe quoi. Par contre, but the, the, the cap here is not. Ouais. Not super coherent, but I I pretty much like the mix of imperative and you know kind of command commands versus uh, uh, mixed with kind of gentle invitations. So it's it's fine with me, but uh, it's a matter of style and preferences. Uh, okay, so um, just leave me and finish this. I hope it's the last three ones. Please open a network first. I maybe I did mention that. Yeah, I have this one already, so I'm gonna just uh, copy it. This one was here. Where was it? Yeah, this one here. Yeah. Uh, where is this? Up, up, up. Then, oh, you see, cancel. I, I almost missed this one. Cancel is um, annulé. Uh, so let's. Yeah, run and cancel should be removed, uh, should be replaced. Expression cancel. So that's annually in French. No, sorry, cancel, which is annulé. Good. It's a bit tedious, but I, I'm so close to having finished uh, the well the you know the the whole thing that it's actually it doesn't i don't mind it's just four o'clock uh -huh. so what was it analyzing the text please wait okay expression analysis analyzing text please wait so in French, analyse du texte en cours, veuillez patienter. there. No node attribute selected, please choose one in the list. Okay. This one is a warning. No node selected. Uh, no node attribute, I think. Attribut n'est sélectionné, veuillez en, cho veuillez en choisir, hein, c'est mieux. Ok, 
Okay. dying so you see a plenty of information messages right as i'm killing it's killing me now but at least that's going to make for a, a great and informative uh, so what cloud analysis is stopped okay it's going to ma make for a great uh, plugin i mean easy to use and easy to understand Analysis of keywords has been stopped. Okay. Oh yeah, and should I should I end with a with a final dot? I know. I'm not sure. Never mind. What's the next one? No network found. Open a network to use this plugin. Well, this one I've already done. Yeah, this one here. No network found. Please open a network. Select another attribute in the list. Did I have this one already? Maybe, okay. Well, it's almost the same, but not exactly the same. Please select attribute. Cloud, oh, this one here. Yeah. The word cloud will analyze this node attribute, which is not exactly correct, by the way. The plugin will analyze, or the plugin will, well, anyway, I have to rewrite it. Letter item. Le plugin va analyser cet attribut. Alors, va analyser les mots clés les plus fréquents de cet attribut. Ok, fine. 
Almost there. Uh, maybe some last ones, but uh, oh, no not selected. Yeah, no not selected, of course, this one is going to be pretty common. No. No, no, selected. So again, I, I hesitate to use node as a term because it's going to be uh, like a shoelace node. You know, in français, un nœud, ça peut être un, in French, a node can be a, a nœud, which is actually a, a knot. The way you, you, you uh, the knot of a shoelace, which is uh, super ambiguous. So no node selected, uh, I would say, um, aucune selection. Utiliser la souris et, et le bouton configuration. Maybe this is where I will uh, tell them how to do pour agrandir la zone de sélection. Agrandir 2G or 1, I don't know. Agrandir. Agrandir. No, 1G. Okay, good. Aucune selection. Uh, it's not clear, aucune sélection. Aucune région du réseau n'est sélectionnée. Utilisez Use the mouse and the button configuration pour agrandir la zone to... <coughs> to uh, to increase the selection uh, zone. Not sure it's super clear. I wish there was a link to a place where... Is there that on my, my uh, Giphy tutorials? I would love to because I would just put a link to it. So let me check that. I'm just moving to my Giphy tutorials. Hop, hop, hop. The dynamic networks, uh, no, no, it's more like simple project for from A to Z. Do I explain this thing? So I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna add it later. I'm gonna just uh, later. I'm gonna create a very small tutorial on that, and I'm gonna add a link to it in the plugin. But not for today. Okay. Uh, okay. Fine. So, so I was saying that. Up. Aucune région du réseau ne sélectionnée. Utilisez la souris et le bouton. Utilisez la souris pour sélectionner to select. P 
pour sélectionner la région du réseau. Le bouton configuration est utile. Is useful to resize or increase the as in the section. I hope the users will uh, get uh, will be yes. So sommet in French, but uh, is it? Uh, so sommet completely, uh, but sommet uh, translated in uh, from French to Spanish. Uh, I suppose they're gonna. It could translate that as a, as a, you know the mountains summit. <laughs> uh, too risky. <laughs> um, so where was I? Yeah, so the name of this property is this one. Oh, yeah, Mathieu, see. So I find it fascinating, but also frustrating because the well, because there is no perfect solution. It's all, uh, always uh, making trade-offs. So not super satisfying. Let me check uh, log area updater. Just checking that I didn't. Okay, making a last check on this one. So first, I'm removing these import statements that I don't need. Okay, last check. Fine. So why is the run button? Like run, where is the run button named? Oh, well, let's check. So it's named there, right? Where is it? Annually, I do have the cancel button, but where is the run button? Something says run. I have we have it. Ah, lancer, voilà, c'est ça, lancer l'opération. Got it. OK, lancer l'opération. C'est moche. Ugly. Démarrer, démarrer. Démarrer is better. Yes, démarrer. Démarrer is good. It's start in English. Ouais. I could try node. I could try node. Oh, and I made some mistake, by the way, I should check my French. The plugin va analyzer les mots clés les plus fréquents de cet attribut. Okay. But before I do my final revision on the French, let me just finish where I was. So run, I have that. I have that. Ah, you see, run, it's here. Not good, my friend. Let's replay that. We replace that with the equivalent. I almost missed it. So where was it, Demare? Demarrer ici. Euh, yeah. Cool. Uh, the only issue. No, that's cool. Okay, I was afraid. No, that's fine. Uh, or is it? No, that's fine. All good, all good, all good. All good. Fantastic. All good. So let's move on to the next file. It should have no. Why is it complaining? Never read the graph control. Never read. Okay. 
Weird. Craft controller is never read, used. Okay, I could suppress it. Okay, great. I should remove these print statements. Same, removing this print statement. Do you see? Yeah. All fine, all fine. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, that's the. Oh, you see? No, no, that's fine. That's fine. There is no thing to translate. It's just there is a. Uh, there is a print statement I have removed. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh, that is fine. Okay, now we can launch the translation, I suppose. So I'm just, I think I can, no, I'm gonna, oh no, I said I wanted to check last time the, yes, Mathieu, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it for another time. <laughs> but yes, at some point, uh, yes. Uh, um, but it's, you know, it's not, uh, it's not easy, so because it's not in the same place and stuff, but yes. So let me do a last check on the, on the, should I change the name of, yeah, I'm gonna even change the name of the plugin based on the plugin d'exploration lexical. Ce plugin affiche les mots clés les plus fréquents parmi un attribut textuel du réseau sous la forme d'un nuage de mots. Ce plugin affiche les mots clés les plus fréquents parmi un attribut textuel du réseau. Ces mots clés sont rafraîchis Oops. en fonction de la sélection faite par la souris avec la souris par l'utilisateur. C'est utile pour explorer et comprendre. Ok. Ouais. Ce plugin vous aide à explorer les mots-clés associés aux entités, donc je dire au nœud. Using node in French to, to test whether les mots-clés plus fréquents apparaîtront ici, rafraîchir combien de mots-clés affichés, sélectionner l'attribut, analyser. Mots-clés les plus fréquents, mots-clés les plus fréquents, ok, twice. Tab, paramètre, tab, I don't know what this tab is, but never mind. Ouvrir un réseau pour utiliser ce plugin, l'analyse initiale du texte en cours, l'analyse initiale du texte est terminée, l'analyse initiale du texte est interrompue, vous devez ouvrir un réseau pour utiliser ce plugin, analyse initiale terminée, vous pouvez maintenant utiliser la souris pour explorer le réseau et ses mots-clés associés, vous pouvez aller sur l'onglet mots-clés, explorer le réseau et ses mots-clés associés, annuler, analyse du texte en cours, without an A, Veuillez patienter, aucun attribut n'est sélectionné, veuillez en choisir un. L'analyse des mots-clés est interrompue, veuillez sélectionner un attribut analysé. Le plugin va analyser les mots-clés les plus fréquents de cet attribut. Aucune région du réseau n'est sélectionnée. Utilisez la souris pour sélectionner une région du réseau. Le bouton configuration est utile pour grandir la zone de sélection. Bouton en haut à gauche. gauche du réseau est utile. Ok, okay. who knows? So launching the launching. So I'm gonna delete the Portuguese greffon. Ouais, 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 bah ouais. Mais non, moi je vais pas, je vais pas suivre la voie québécoise là sur ce coup. Euh, ouais. Ok, bah cool, good, good, good. So just launching the, let me show you, let me show you, just launching the the wet cloud stuff. So run, and there is really a magical aspect to it. It's, we just wait and bing, 
it's going to be available in Portuguese. Oops. There. Oops, no, it's not finished. Sorry. Don't. Don't crash. OK, super. OK, everything in. So we have search. Yeah, we have. Everything should be fine. And now I'm going to do it for all the remaining languages, which should English include not French, because that's the source language, but English instead. Oh, you don't see it. I was there, right? You had French as one of the target languages, but no, this is one of our, uh, this is our source language, the French. The target should be English. And where I change things is that I just remove Depot and I put Google, and this will call the Google Translate API instead of Depot. One of the reasons why I'm doing it, you know, using Google instead of Depot, they have much, many more languages and even if all my students tell me that Deeper is better, and that's true, but for small, uh, anyway, it has so many, it has more than 100 languages. So, you know, um, Deeper has just a, um, a few of them and not in every combination. So, c'est parti, go run and hopefully, so let's have a look where so this is where the files are going to arrive as soon as they are created by, uh, by the, the program. So we have one language every eight seconds, I would say. So that's why I took so much time to make sure I had all the properties and that I didn't make a mistake in French, you know, no typo. Because if you do this thing in a clean way, then the automation is really rewarding. We're almost done, I would say. Polish, Norwegian, Japanese, Dutch, German, Catalan, Russian, Romanian, Turkish, maybe Chinese. Taiwanese, Chinese, and we're done. OK, so nothing to do left i could do some oh yes one last thing of course one important thing is that we have all our languages do you see it here yeah but the bundle properties has not been touched as far as i yeah it has remained the one it was like without everything so i'm gonna just this is the default bundle i'm gonna put i'm just gonna copy whatever i have in the english one into the into this one yeah so that if a user has a local so a, lang a local local language yeah i agree mathieu on deeper fully agree i i i did translate a, a full document with deeper and checking Google translation and deeper paragraph per paragraph and indeed uh, uh, I just agree with you yeah so anyway so if a, a user uses our plugin um, uh, but has has is, is uh, the Giphy they are running is not uh, of any of the languages that is supported by Giphy by default is gonna use this one so this one should have all the properties which I just copied there or pasted and I choose English as the default language, which is the uh, the classic thing to be done. Uh, well, OK, now it's time to just uh, package it and send it to you, my dear hundreds of viewers. <laughs> so Mathieu, basically, and Veronica, 
I, I would expect uh, um, for anybody to try. So how do you create um, a plugin uh, that you can give to somebody, even if the plugin has not been published, uh, you know, by the Giphy team? Uh, so it's super easy. You just right click and you click on uh, clean and build. And uh, and then then you go to it just creates a file in the in the folder of your project. So let me find it just to show you. I mean, I think it does it does that, but uh, we'll check we'll see that together right now. So this is the okay. This is where the files of the project are situated, and I think that you know I've just just run clean and build on the plugin. It's not finished yet. It's almost finished. Things I need to fix a couple of stuff. You see that the quote stuff? No, you don't. Well, maybe you see it. Let me show you. There, it escapes double quotes. Uh, so one way to fix that is super simple. It's boring, but it's super simple. You just go to, to uh, you go to the, well, you go to the folder where all your files are. So you see the files we have. You just do control H and you do a, a search and replace. So, you know, I search for, let me show you. Yeah, you search for this stuff and you replace that with the double quote and continue and replace okay and i think there is a second i think apostrophes are also escaped for no reason did i use an apostrophe possibly so i have to find yeah exactly in italian the apostrophe apostrophes have been uh, escaped so let me let me uh, fix that. I'm not sure I should keep the back, the escaping backslash. Yes, fine. Yeah, super. Okay, now we have no. I think these were the only things where the thing was messed up. Uh, good. So I should just save. save and uh, rebuild, sorry for that. Uh, let's rebuild. Our GIF is still running, oh, I should stop it. Okay, rebuilding the plugin. And I'm gonna, where should I post it so that it's, I'm gonna put it on my drive somewhere yeah, I'm gonna let me I'm gonna add a link to this um, so it's an NBM file for NetBeans module file come on
the replay is not there yet. Uh, useful resource. Uh, well, it's gonna be we learn stuff. Link to link to the uh, beta version of the project of the plugin to be installed manually. Your feedback is very welcome. We next week we want to listen to the early adopters feedback and uh, fix the issues they raised. Okay, fine. So did you see that? Do you see that? Yeah. So this is where these are the files of the plugin as we worked on it. And we should have somewhere <laughs> the plugin. Right, I would say so. Oh. Maybe it's elsewhere. Modules. Oh yeah, it's it's here, I would say. Of course it's here. Uh, yes, it's right there. Fantastic. Uh, why, why the MBM is why the lexic itself, the lexic, the plugin is making twenty-two megas. Wow, that's too big. Any Mathieu, if you have any clue, but maybe it's just that the dependencies. These are not the dependencies I added for NLP because they are super small. So maybe these are, these are well, we're going to work on that uh, at another time. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it in a folder which I dedicate to shared files. Should uh, I should uh, re start my Google Sync? I hope it's going to sync in the next seconds. Synchronize was wow, that's so fast. Share, share with everyone with a link. Copy the link, and let's let's add it here. Uh, not here, here. What a day! I think we have we have done it right. We have released a beta of the of the plugin, localized in nineteen languages, and super fit to work. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Let's have a look back here. Yeah, I'm curious about the curious about the dependencies. Why is it so big? These things are small, 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 small. So the graph store. Okay, maybe the graph store was a. Maybe I made a mistake with by importing the this the graph store. I don't know. I suppose it's a mistake. 
Yeah, the graph store, it's, it's weird to have it here. I'm going to ask uh, Mathieu Bastion about it. <sighs> Thank you for staying for so long. Um, but you know, the, the baby is born. <laughs> uh, the plugin is released in the wild. It's not just me and my screen and my Twitch stuff. It's something that is real and that anyone with the link can uh, install and test and use on their own computers, hopefully. Thank you, Veronica, for your support. And Mathieu, it's, uh, it's, uh, it makes a big, it makes such a difference. So uh, thanks a lot. Uh, next week, uh, next week, feedback by the users. Uh, last, uh, last improvements, and then uh, we push to uh, the, a new branch in the GitHub's Giphy's plugins uh, repo. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks a lot again. See you next week.